In today's video, we are going to explore St. Petersburg, Florida, the world-renowned Dali Museum, lively Central Avenue, and we'll pass by the Chiluli Collection and the historic Roser Park neighborhood, so stay tuned, because Traveling Robert is next. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. Good morning from the St. Petersburg Madeira Beach KOA. Let's check out really quick here the Pinellas Trail which is right next door. From the trail we get very scenic views of the bayou with all these little islands. Maybe I'll rent a kayak or at the very least fly the drone later. To the other side, there's the Bay Pines Marina, which is adjacent to a mobile home park. Seems to be a pretty popular fishing spot, too. The trail, by the way, used to be a railroad track. The campground seems to be almost completely full, as it is January peak snowbird season, and by snowbirds we mean retired visitors from colder climates, as you probably know. Ok, let's make the half-hour drive to St. Pete, which has 361 sunny days a year on average, and it holds the Guinness record for 768 consecutive sunny days, so they call it the Sunshine City. I wonder if today counts, because it is a little more than partly cloudy. I am actually kind of surprised to find out that downtown St. Petersburg is mostly residential. Most downtowns I've seen are more business oriented. Ok, let's park and there you can see the Salvador Dali Museum, which we will visit shortly. Part of the reason you see so many sailboats around here is because here at this marina they have the St. Petersburg Sailing Center, in case you want to learn the art of sailing and go with the winds. Is that an anhinga I see? Hmm, <laughs> scared him away. We are also very close here to the Albert Witted Airport. Oh, by the way, little known fact, St. Petersburg is recognized as the birthplace of scheduled commercial airline flight, dating all the way back to 1914. In the distance, across the bay, we can see downtown Tampa. And the construction area you see, that used to be the pier, a nice tourist trap which was demolished and is now under reconstruction. Hello, Pelican. Hello, other Pelican. By the way, this is uh, the Men's Landing Park, located at the site of the first railroad pier in the city, built back in 1889 by one Peter Demens, a Russian nobleman. We wanted to check out uh, Central Avenue, where all the action is, but it is all under construction, so let's go to the Dali Museum first, and then we'll have a late lunch on the other side of the construction site. The Dali has the largest collection of Salvador Dali works outside of Europe and it is listed as the number one attraction here in St. Petersburg. Before diving in, let's take a stroll along the gardens. This here is the Wish Tree, where people write their wishes on the back of uh, the museum admission wristbands and then tie them here to the tree. There is also a labyrinth, which is supposed to encourage meditation and reflection. It does have a small wish tree in the center, by the way. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go into the museum. But before, let's hydrate. The museum is very nicely laid out, more or less chronologically, at first showing Salvador Dali's early works, uh, which leaned more towards the Impressionism and the Post-Impressionism, and then we dive into his forte, Surrealism. The museum, as you can see, it is pretty crowded on this Sunday. Here they also have the second largest collection of Dali's masterworks, which are the very large paintings. There's the famous painting of Gala contemplating the Mediterranean Sea, which from a distance looks like Abraham Lincoln, but as you get closer, you realize it is a nude of Dali's wife, Gala, from behind. And it was inspired by a low-resolution computer-generated photo of Lincoln that Dali saw in 1973. This is the famous lobster phone. I'm telling you, this guy was nuts. Atmospheric skull sodomizing a grand piano. No comment. And here's one of his masterworks, The Discovery of America. There is also a photo gallery, with mostly pictures taken during the 50s and 60s. The architecture of the building was also inspired by the works of Salvador Dali. Here you see the Enigma glass dome from the inside and a very nice view of the waterfront. Here we also get our tickets for a virtual reality presentation that we'll see later. How about some more hydration while we wait? And here we are. It is called Dreams of Dali. And inside the virtual reality world you get to explore some of Dali's works in 3D. I found the presentation to be a little low resolution, but perhaps the system wasn't well calibrated. It was still really good. The Ecumenical Council, in which Gala, Dali's wife, and the genius himself appear. In 1954, Dali recreated his 1931 masterpiece The Persistence of Memory as The Disintegration of the Persistence of Memory. Inspired by the age of quantum mechanics, it represents the breakdown of matter into atoms, among other things. With that, let's say goodbye to the museum. But before that, let me take a picture with Dali's mustache. By the way, all these rocks, and the largest one was actually brought from Catalonia, Spain, are representative of the Costa Brava, the coastal Catalonian landscape where Dali grew up. I don't know what it is about that building over there, but I like it a lot. Perhaps it reminds me of some of the newer Miami architecture. I don't know. Let's drive around all this Central Avenue construction and find parking on the other side. As you can see, this area is much more lively and it is actually hard to make a decision on where to eat. We eventually decide to eat at this place because it has live music, but we sit down for five, six, seven minutes and no one acknowledges us. So we get up and eventually end up at the oyster bar. 
Here we have my new favorite, the Cigar City Hialeah IPA and the Seafood Slider Appetizer and some smoked fish dip. Very nice. We continue on Central Avenue, going west, in order to explore a little more. This is where the arts scene is supposed to be. This white building to the left is the Morian Arts Center, which features the Chiluli Collection. It has on display glass art by world-renowned artist Del Chiluli, most famous for the Fiori di Como, which hangs off the ceiling of the Bellagio Hotel lobby in Las Vegas. Let's drive back on Central Avenue for a little bit. Our next stop is the Roser Park Historic District which dates back to the beginning of the 20th century. Uh-oh, I think we have made a wrong turn. The GPS lady is taking us on all these deserted back alleys. Let's retrace our steps here and find our bearings. This to the right, right here, is the also historic Greenwood Cemetery. Okay, here, now I think we are at the right place. Very nice historic homes on both sides of the street. Everything looks kind of deserted though, and a lot of properties are for sale. I mean, we would love to linger and explore a little bit more by foot, perhaps. But it is getting late, and the periphery of the neighborhood looked a little sketchy, so we are going to call it a night and explore this in more detail some other day, perhaps. Isn't this the alley where we got lost a few minutes ago? Yeah, the GPS lies. Let's return to our temporary accommodations at the St. Pete KOA. There's the Pinellas Trail overpass to the right. And take a look at that sunset. Wow. Of course, we've only scratched the surface here in St. Petersburg, but something tells me we'll be back soon. At night, we tried to start a fire with limited success. I thought we had it going for a while, but all of a sudden, it starts dying. Slowly, until it dies completely. Maybe the wood was bad. Oh well, that didn't work. <laughs> all good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at TravelingRobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at TravelingRobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV